I'm Simran Samdani, partner with Excel Accounting and the only certified value builder and profit first professional in this region. I'm excited to be a part of the Inform and Inspire series powered by Yardstick Marketing. It's your business. Shouldn't profit come first? The main reason for entrepreneurial stress is cash flow. Let's talk today about Profit First by Mike Miklovich. It's a framework, it's a system that ensures that we prioritize profit, be conscious of our expenses and even crush debt. Yes, debt crush. Before we get into the habits of profitability, let me share with you two concepts. The first is a word called axioms, which is nothing but beliefs that we consider to be true without proof. Example, we thought the world was flat, till someone then came and proved to us that it wasn't and the world is round and we believe that today. The second is actually a law called Parkinson's law, which says that the demand expands to fill the supply, which means that if you're given 10 hours to do a work, when do we do it? Absolutely the last minute. The same applies for money. If you're given 100,000 dirhams for a project, we will use the 100,000. If you're given 25,000 for the same project, we work around and do something to make sure we stay within the budget. So now let's get into the habits of profitability. The first one is prioritize profit. The generally accepted accounting principle, which is the gap says, sales minus expense is equal to profit. We consider this to be true. Let's just flip the formula and say sales minus profit is equal to expense. Has anything changed mathematically? No, but reframing it like this psychologically puts money into our pocket. It leverages human habits. So what do we do? We take the money first. If we use the first formula and we go by the formula, we get revenue. We then spend money, whether it's salaries, vendors, other expenses we have. And then whatever's left behind is profit. Profit comes last. It's a leftover. In the other formula, you actually take the profit aside. And using Parkinson's law, we're known to be, humans are known to be innovators, creative, and we will be able to manage our expenses in that option. So should we start using this today, right now, tomorrow? Absolutely, you can. Whatever stage of your business and you can start using it tomorrow. Can we put 1% of whatever revenue we earn into a separate bank account or keep it aside? So what it means is if you get 1,000 dirhams, you won't miss the 10 dirhams that you keep aside. If you get 10,000 dirhams as revenue, you will not miss the 100 dirhams that get aside. It's as simple as that, putting 1% profit aside. So let's commit ourselves and start doing this by tomorrow. The second habit is pay yourself, which means the owner takes a salary. It's very important to do that. A lot of people that we know have not taken, are not taking salaries or if they're taking, they're not taking enough salaries. The Profits First system explains and gives you a formula as to what level your business in, how much profit you should take, keep aside, how much a salary you should put aside for yourself because that matters. And that is what will ensure that you sustain and are not a statistics of, in, in, a statistics in the businesses that fail. The third, um, habit of profitability is expenses. We have to be very conscious of our expenses. So some of the quick fixes we could do is look at all the subscriptions we have and cancel what we're not using or what's not necessary. We have reduced our expenses in these difficult times. Do we need to go back to those expenses when things become normal? Maybe not. So let's be conscious of where we are spending. Look at each of the items in your profit and loss statement and ask yourself three questions. Is this expense getting me profit, bringing me closer to the profit? Can this be replaced by a lower cost option? Can this be eliminated completely? The fourth and the last habit is rhythm. That, that means that it's important that we stick to a timeline when we put money aside, which means that they recommend a buy fortnightly system, which is on the 10th of the month and the 25th of the month. You can choose to do this weekly depending on what your business needs are. You can't change it overnight. But what it says is there should be a rhythm as to when this is happening. So if you put all your invoices and you pay the vendors one day of the week, or twice in a month, what it does, it, it, it helps you find a trend. So if anything out of the ordinary happens, you can then identify it. Uh, what is recommended is you to have multiple bank accounts, uh, ideally four bank accounts. One is for your profit, one is for your 
uh, salaries, one is for taxes, uh, which is not there in this country, uh, but you could use it for VAT or keep the VAT with your expenses, that's fine. Uh, you would say that banks require a minimum balance, but your salaries could go into your personal account, you can work around it uh, till we find a solution to it. We do have a solution for it, uh, but till we help you work out, you can put it aside in separate bank accounts. It's out of sight, out of mind. It's not on your main bank account. Um, if we follow these four steps, they're simple, it's not easy, but it's a habit that we need to cultivate. Profit is not an event, it is a habit. Hope you found this valuable and wishing you profitability and prosperity.